I'm here with tonight's stellar honoree, Dr. Lewis, and she's going to give us our thoughts about the evening. But first of all, she knows the artist. <laughs> My friend Richard Mayhew, he's, he's more than a landscape painter. People think of him as a landscape artist, but he's, he's a visionary kind mm -hmm. of person. And I first met him when he was teaching at Penn State. Oh, okay. And um, I, I spent one semester at Penn State after leaving Hampton. Okay. And um, it, was, it was just a pleasure to know him, and I've know, known him ever since. That was in the 40s. That's a long way back. <laughs> That's a long way back. Richard says he's younger than he <clears throat> is, but... Uh, <laughs> we won't tell. No, we won't tell, but he's a good friend of mine, and he's going to be in New York. We're honoring him in New York on the 4th of um, next month. Oh, well, this is news. See, that's why you watch Entre New on Time Warner, mm -hmm. because you get the news first. Now, let's talk about tonight's event. We're honoring you. Yes. Well, it's, it's really... I'm, I'm shocked, I'm surprised, because uh, this, is, this is more than I expected, you know? I really, I was sort of at my home relaxed and uh, retired and not uh, expecting any of this. And this is, this is wonderful to have an African-American museum honor me because it's, I don't think it's happened before, not in terms of a museum, an African-American museum. Okay, so we're the first. Praise yes, God. Yes, All right. yes, yes, yes. I mean, I've been honored by African-American colleges with yes. honorary doctorates and things like that, but never an African-American museum. Mm -hmm. Now, take us back. When did you know that visual art was going to be your medium as opposed to music or dance? Well, um, I started doing art. I guess you wouldn't call it art when I was about four years old. And uh, I would sit on my porch and my sisters would give me uh, material for tracing and oh, okay. I, would, I would turn it over and do my drawing. And, and when I was in the first grade, my teacher gave me something to color. Okay. And I was to stay within the lines that she had drawn. Mm -hmm. And I, I purposely went outside of the lines. And she gave me five <laughs> cents. She said, oh, you're so creative. And oh, she gave good. me. So, uh, you know, I, I just use art as my way of expression. Okay. And as uh, my language, so to speak. Because right. I lived in the South where they taught you to uh, keep your mouth shut. Okay. not uh, cause any problems, and I was causing problems on the paper. <laughs> I said, acting up on the paper, I yeah. like it. <laughs> yes. So it wasn't until I, I went to college and I was majoring in art, I mean, not art, Elizabeth Catlett was there. She was my first art teacher. Mm -hmm. But I was majoring in, in history oh, under okay. Dr. Benjamin Quarles, who was a famous historian. He's a Frederick Douglass expert. And okay. um, so from history, I moved into art appreciation and then art and then art history again. And it was really a good combination. I, I like history and I also like, like art. And so I oh. thought that we hadn't been, had not, as African Americans, had not been documented properly so I started documenting our culture. And um, I studied with Jay Saunders Redding, and he gave everybody C's and D's. What? But he gave me a B. Whoa, <laughs> that was a stretch. Me. That yes. was a real stretch. <laughs> and so uh, he said, but you got to learn to write. And okay. I, I did my best. And uh, so I've been doing my best for more than 50 years, and uh, I'm ready for somebody else to start doing their best. Well, we thank you so very much, Dr. Lewis, and I mean, to have you out here this evening, they, it's called the unsung hero, but that is not the case at all. We're gonna be singing your praises for a very, very long time, Dr. Lewis. Thank you I so wanna much. shake your hand ever so, so gingerly, much. and thank you. Thank you so much.